Hi, it's Wallace Jovetic, contributing editor at Book Riot, here again with your Monday video. Uh, it is the week after Book Riot Live. You'll be seeing this the next week. I just gave it away. We make our videos a little early. Um, I met some of you at Book Riot Live, and it was so much fun. Thank you so much for coming up and chatting with me and telling me that you watch this. <laughs> so I'm not just projecting it out to the world of nobody watching. No, I know that's not true. But it was really, really nice to meet you guys. It was so much fun. I hope you had a lot of fun. Um, if you didn't get to go to Book Riot Live, there were vendors, there were authors, there were panels, there were fans. It was just, it was really fun. It was fantastic. And you can find a lot of the pictures from Book Riot Live at on Instagram at hashtag BRLive. So you can kind of see what went on. It was a lot of fun, and I picked up a few books while I was there, so I'm going to share those books with you today. The first book is All the Rage by Courtney Summers. I picked this up at the book brag table. Am I saying that right? The book brag table? I'm having a brain fart right now. I'll put the exact table down below that I picked it up at. But this one, um, the, the ladies at the table were fantastic, by the way. They, they knew everything about every book that was on their table and not only like answered questions, they really like were in love with the, the books that were on their table and could really tell me like, this one is great for this and this one is great for that. And if you loved this one, you'll love that one. Um, so I really, really enjoyed talking to them about books. And I hope you got a chance to also. This one is because I picked up Speak by one of the authors that was at Book Riot Live. Lori House Anderson, and I'll talk about her a little bit more later. But this one is um, just a it's, a, it's a newer release. It's hardback, as you can see. It's about a girl who was raped, and nobody listened to her the first time. And she kind of retreats to herself and to the diner that she works at until something happens to another girl, and it's time for her to speak up again. Jax is trying to make his cameo. He thinks you should read this book. So obviously trigger warning for anybody who that would be a trigger for. I've heard that it's not, there's not graphic scenes in it, but that it doesn't really shy away from what happened. So she uses, so she uses the incident to further the plot and not just to shock you, but you should be aware that, um, I've been told that there are scenes in this that, that could be triggering for people who, uh, who rape would be a trigger for. So please keep that in mind if you're thinking of picking this one up. But I also have heard that it's an important and um, riveting look at the rape culture. And I believe that this one takes place to, uh, with a girl in high school. I was talking to one of our other editors and also uh, another YouTuber, Rincey, uh, here at Book Riot. And she said that in high school they read speak uh, as an assignment, which I think is probably incredibly important. And maybe this will be a new one that teachers start assigning in high school um, to be able to start that conversation and then let people feel really comfortable talking about the situation. The next one is Black Chalk. I picked it up at the same exact table. It's by Christopher J. Yates. I'm actually going to tell you a little bit about what it says on the back of this because it's why I chose it. It's about a group of, of friends at Oxford University who play a game of dares and consequences and forfeits. And eventually each dare gets more personal and more humiliating uh, and it leads into tragic results. So 14 years later, the remaining players meet up for a final round. And this is the psychological thriller about that game. Um, sounds like I've, I've, I've heard that it's not scary in the sense that you can't sleep at night, but it is scary in the sense that when you're reading it, you're going to be a little spooked by everything. But like a thriller, good, fun, scary, but not the kind that like you're going to turn out the lights and be terrified. <laughs> so that's my kind of scary. I like this kind of scary where I'm in it and it's a little bit nerve wracking and my blood is pumping and my adrenaline's rushing, but I can turn off the lights at night and go to bed because that is important. This one is about a high schooler whose father has PTSD from his time uh, in the war and they hop from place to place kind of running away from what's going on with him. They land in a place where she finds a friend that, um, that really comforts her and is a good support system to her. And then something happens with her father, this PTSD resurfaces and they think of leaving again and they have to make the decision whether to go again or whether she wants to stay and, and hold on to this life that she's created for herself. Um, this one is by Lori House Anderson, who was an author at VR Live and also a panelist in a few panels. This one was highly recommended to me by Rincey when we had their conversation about Speak. She um, told me about a few of the other books by Lori um, House Anderson and really highly recommended this one. I believe this is her latest. I happened to also get this one signed and was able to meet Lori. She's a lovely, lovely person and she 
It was very fun to talk to you. took time to talk to all of her fans. Um, I was one of the last ones to get my book signed, so we were able to talk for a few minutes. She just recently had a grandson, actually, of Monday of that week, and I was talking to her Sunday. So her grandson wasn't even a week old, and uh, she, if you saw her knitting on the panel, she was knitting a blanket for him. So that was exciting, and then she was off to go visit him. So if you see her Instagram page, you can see her new little grandson as well. So congratulations to Lori on her new grandson. But to take it back to this book, it is a serious book. I know there's going to be tears. Lori herself told me it's probably a, a three tissue, <laughs> three tissue book, maybe three tissues out of five. I didn't really ask, but that's kind of the, the rating system that I was getting. So it is a tear jerker. I'm willing to take those tissues and carry them around with me while I'm reading this book. I also got t-shirts and tote bags and onesies for my son and what else can I tell you? <laughs> so many things. But you can look on the Instagram account for Book Riot to see how great the event was because it was really, really fun. Hello to all of you that I met and I hopefully I will see you again soon at the next bookish event. And to all of you, have a good week and happy reading. Bye.